if you need that sign to do something, if you want to start learning something new, if you're worried about if you're, if the money will manifest or not, if you're worried about if you get into that school or not, if you're worried if you'll get that job or not, let this video be the last sign that you're getting what you want and you'll accept nothing less but see things in your favor regardless of what is happening around you. And if you're also looking for signs in order to do something, like your sign to start crocheting, your sign to start working out, your sign to start reading more, why do you need a sign? Just simply start doing or starting this channel. I, I was all constantly in my head thinking about should I start it? I, I was constantly imagining myself talking to a camera, doing all these fun things, being creative. If I kept constantly searching for a sign in order for me to start creating content, when am I actually going to create the content? If I keep searching for um, should I make content? Should I make content? When, what time will I have in order to actually make the content, to actually execute the ideas? So you don't need any more sign. This is the only sign you need. Whatever desire you want to manifest, whatever thing you want to do, let this be your sign that you can do whatever you want and everything that you desire is coming to you because that is it you don't need any more signs because it's enough it's enough scrolling it's enough searching it's enough it's enough it's enough i'm telling you you have so much power than you, you actually believe okay it's all about stepping into the conscious awareness of seeing things work in your favor like that's it's all about having fun with whatever you see outside of you and think it's all working in your favor regardless regardless of all the horrible feelings you might feel of the nasty thoughts you may think regardless we're gonna choose to believe that every circumstance every experience every sign every angel number we see is always working in our favor whether it goes our way or not we are the ones who give meaning to the signs we're the ones who give meaning to 111 222 Three, three, three. They could mean anything, and they could be. They could mean good things for some and one person. They could mean a bad thing for another person. For example, the number six. You know, it's not associated with the best things. So people might see that number and be like, "Oh my God, is a demon gonna get me?" And then other people might say, "Oh my God, I'm gonna have the most harmonious, happy, loving." life now because of the number six something amazing something good gonna happen to me and of course i'm not talking about science like when you need guidance when you need clarity on something because that is valid that is okay because you're not obsessing over it. you're not letting it dictate you like your entire state your entire reality you're simply just allowing it to guide you wherever you go for example when i was coming up with my channel name um i really didn't have an idea what i wanted to call it and then one day i just like I asked for a sign. I was like, please. I need, no, I was like, I need an idea for the best channel name for myself that's going to help me and align me to my highest good. I need the best name. I didn't think anything of it. I just detached and was open to anything. And then one day when I woke up, I saw an Instagram page that had a, um, had the name Crystalline Heart or something. It was like something Crystal Heart. And I was like, oh my god wait like i didn't copy full on copy that name it was just like a random account that wanted to follow me and when i saw the username i was like wait i can literally make crystalline mind like that is a good name for my channel so then i just picked that name like i, I just let myself flow and got what i needed just because i allowed it to i didn't obsessively search for a name what name should i name my channel you don't need these excess signs in order to validate something because what are these signs actually doing? You're actually wasting your time looking for these signs when you could be validating your desire to yourself. Because how many times do you need someone to tell you that you're getting what you want in order for you to actually believe that you're getting what you want? To start believing that you're getting what you want so you can get what you want, you know? Sometimes when I'm trying to manifest a desire, sometimes like seemingly bad things happen, like inconveniences, which are a little bit out of my comfort zone, occur and happen. What's the result of it? Me getting what I want. So literally, it doesn't matter if you're seeing bad or good things, but you give meaning to whatever you're seeing because one person can interpret a sign in another way and one person another person can interpret a sign in a different way something good always comes out of it no matter what and that could be a core belief i carry and you should start carrying that too that good things happen to you everything is always working out best case scenario amazing things are always happening to you whatever you want miracles happen for me every day whatever 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 belief start believing that for yourself because everything will start shifting in your favor no matter what if you just carry that belief with you whatever sign or circumstance that may happen you will just disregard it and detach and be so totally in your zone that nothing will ever matter and you will never just need a sign you will only just be your own validation you only allow the signs whatever comes up to only validate a belief that you're already persisting in or not signs are neutral but you give meaning to whatever you are seeing don't overthink too much about whatever sign you get like oh 
well, what does this thing mean? And how maybe, wait, maybe if I see this thing, maybe this can't happen and I can't have this and this and that and this and that. Don't overthink about these signs. Whatever you're looking for, use them as indicators who you are and how you can either change that or go with that. Okay, say you, you really want your SP and friend to like you. Say you send a message to your SP or friend and then they don't respond to you like a day or two after. And then you can interpret the sign in many different ways. First of all, oh my god, they don't want to be friends with me. They don't like me. I think I should stop talking to them. Maybe I'm this. Maybe I'm not funny enough. Maybe I'm this. You can go on that tangent. Or you can go on the second tangent. Okay, they might be a little bit busy, but no, I'm worthy. I'm, I'm respected. I'm understood. People always talk to me. People love me. People obsess with me. I'm enough. Everyone always loves me. Everyone always response to me i'm worthy of amazing friendships amazing relationships you can go in that route or you can take this in a different way as in okay these are these people are not worth my time i only allow people who respond to me on time and who communicate effectively with me to enter in my life i let go of old people i let go of all people that don't serve me bye there might be more pathways but these are three ways you can interpret this one situation one circumstance or one sign another one is followers um because i know content creation influencers is very common these days you want to be one and imagine you have an account and then you see you're like i'm going to be a content creator your intention your desire is to be a content creator and for your followers to increase okay and then say you post and you post and you post consistently and then your followers are growing but then suddenly you see um one or two followers decrease okay maybe they unfollow and then you can take this in three different ways once again one way oh my god um maybe i shouldn't be a content creator maybe i'm not enough maybe i can't do this people aren't following me maybe my content's not good maybe it's this not good um, blah 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 second way you can interpret this is my followers are increasing every day regardless two followers aren't gonna do much actually my followers are increasing by 10 times the amount of followers that decrease, actually, they, my social medias are growing every day. It's getting bigger and bigger. I'm attracting more and more people to follow me, to subscribe to me, to interact with me. I'm a social media star. Third path is the people who unfollowed um, probably are not worthy. I'm glad that the people unfollowed because that means they're not resonating with my content, which is great. I only attract people to my channel, to my accounts that resonate, that are positive, that are happy, that are also and though like what I do, enjoy what I do. Content is only getting better and better, and I'm only attracting the best of best people three different ways <laughs> you can either think that those signs are in your favor or they're not in your favor you get to decide you get to choose so what are you waiting for why are you constantly looking for these signs like make tell me what, what is the purpose of you constantly searching and searching for signs when you could easily create the story yourself because you are the storyteller hello you're the creator and whatever happens just be like okay and okay and okay and why are we spending more time thinking that we're not good enough when we could just say i'm good enough i only attract the right people into my life in friendships and relationships and whatever you're using these signs as external feedback to uh, validate a certain belief or persisting thought about yourself you're either validating whatever belief or thought underlying that you see in your favor or you're not in your favor either way you're validating something whether you're getting that money or not you're validating if it's here or not. Like, you're validating if you have that friendship or not. If you're worthy of friendships or not. You are, are always validating something. That's all I have for today's video. I intended that this video made you feel more empowered, more clear, more confident in whatever you're doing. Thank you guys for watching. You are enough. You deserve the best. And I'll see you soon. Bye. Signs are neutral. What are you waiting for?